So Eckhart here, um, I just thought I'm going to give you a quick demonstration um, how to build a little coffee table, um, just following up from the lecture uh, and the class on Wednesday. No, on Friday it was, wasn't it? Okay, there are a few things I wanted to show you. So I want you uh, to build a coffee table using 10 by 10 millimeter steel, um, six millimeter glass and 16 millimeter plywood. There's just a few things uh, and a few demonstrations how you can actually um, make surfaces into polygons. So uh, the first one is, let's have a quicker look, view from the top. I use, um, let's start with um, rectangle corner to corner. So I start at the zero position, 200 by 300. Okay, so uh, this is just the polyline. Here you can see if I go, let's leave the perspective here, it's already in shaded. So this is just the uh, polyline, okay. So uh, we go to surface tools. We have done this already. You go to surface from planar curves. We select our curves. We go this and here we have our surface. And if we want to extrude this one, make sure your gumball is switched on. We can click on this little one and extrude it, let's say 16 centimeters. Yeah, so we have a little thingy here. Okay. Um, you can also obviously go, we go to our standard view, we can always go here and do the same. Um, and go straight into a polygon. Yeah, so by this, I just typed in the numbers 200, enter, 300, enter, and the Z axis is 16. So this is the same. Um, now, um, one thing I'm actually um, doing this is um, so let's say you wanna let's say you wanna place this on a steel rim. You know you can't just kind of put some legs in here. Uh, you would need some sort of steel support. Yeah. So I would go about this probably like this. Hold on. Let's let's start from a clean plate and perhaps kind of let's move this a little bit here that we have a bit more space and i'm particularly interested in these two views so you can you know make space i'm working this one right now on my mac but uh, the look is fairly similar now okay let's make a leg first so we've got 10 by 10 by 450 let's say okay we've got a leg here yeah um, and then I want to have I'm gonna do this now okay I want to have four legs and the frame the frame should be let's do it like this um, I'm going to 300 by 450. Here we go. Okay, so this is the size of the coffee table. 300 by 450. Where's my box edit? Here. Yeah, here we have it. Yeah. Okay, um, so this is my coffee table. We can again go to our surface tools, turn it into a surface and extrude it by 16. Oh, hold on. I did select, not this, I want to have, you need to select the surface rather than the line outside. Come on, what is happening here? Yeah, you have to be quite precise with Rhino. Okay, now, um, I want to put a steel frame around uh, underneath this. So um, you can again, there are various ways to do this. So you could extrude this one uh, on the floor. So you could um, just draw uh, an extrusion this way. Um, let's say 450 by 10 by 10. Yeah. So here we have this, so you could sort of 
move this and you know build it one by one around it. Uh, there's a quicker way to do that. Um, okay, so we've got this. What did we have? What, it was 300 by 450, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, and here it's actually quite good to go to the perspective view. Here we go. And we have, um, so I go to the rectangle corner to corner. Um, I don't know, we can sort of snapping. And it's quite good to go actually into this view. And I want to do 10 by 10. Okay. Let's move this down a little bit. Make sure this actually touches your line. So we've got two polylines. We've got this polyline and this polyline. So there is under the surface tab here, uh, there are many, many, many uh, uh, um, commands, uh, and this is actually quite a good one. So it's called sweep rail one. So what it means, we sweep a shape along a rail. And this can be this shape, but it can be also all sorts of other shapes. Okay, let's do that then. Um, so we go, sweep rail one, and it asks you select the rail. This is my rail. And then you don't have to enter, don't press enter, you go select sweep shapes. We have this one. Then we go done. Now you get a contextual menu. It wants to show you where, which direction do you want this to sweep. And then you just kind of click onto your line. And then you get a sort of a preview, how this is gonna look. This is looking good. It even does this nice 45 degree mitre. Um, sometimes it's quite, so yeah, I clicked free form or road like that uh, if you, because you can sweep along curves that go up and down, for example. So you have various options and perhaps you can sort of play with various options here. For example, if you have a sort of a kidney shaped uh, table. So let's sweep this. And this is obviously, uh, and here you can actually see it, 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 it uh, leaves this one obviously untouched. We can delete this. And um, now, um, I would actually take this and then move it up here. I type in move. Okay, I want to move this one, enter. I want to move it, let's say, from this corner. To this corner, hold on. And here sometimes, if this does, I think it kind of depends on the snaps. I can't see my snaps here right now. Um, so this is 450 high on the Z. And this is, we want also want this on the 450. I go apply. So, okay, now we have this one in the right location. Um, perhaps what we could do. No, this is okay. So for example, you could double this. I don't know. Well, let's make a little bit more fancy style here. Yeah. So I, I copy this. So here, if you press your option button, yeah, so I just press my option button and pull this one down and then you make a copy. You can obviously make a copy and paste, but okay. There are various ways also to make copies, yeah? And I obviously need four legs, so here I would actually go, make sure your snaps are on. Uh, I can't see my snaps because, um, bah, 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 bah. okay. Ah, uh, here. Your midpoint should be. Okay, I go mirror. And uh, why doesn't it 
go into that corner. I chose the wrong mirror. Uh, this is uh, a poly surface is actually not big enough. Okay, let's do this again. Midpoint here. And then I mirror this again, these two. Uh, make sure you select the right area. Okay. Uh, let's look at this. Okay. So, for example, here, then you could, I think, down here, you could put perhaps a glass on the top and a wood on the bottom or something, I don't know, or put a drawer in or whatever, you know. So this is already sort of like a little fancy schmancy uh, steel. Um, obviously, if you want to uh, add some renderings, you could add renderings here. What, what's happening here with my panels? Anyway, so you could import from libel, uh, from the material library to attach uh, whatever uh, steel to it. Uh, let's go to the rendered mode. So this is the sort of rendered mode. So this is just a quick example of how you can kind of create something like this. Yeah, and then oh, by the way, you can put some wood in, so on, for force. You can then also think how do you actually attach this. So uh, you would probably need to drill some holes here, perhaps four screws to attach the wood. The glass, you would probably need to weld in some strips or some little brackets to put the glass in. These are then all the details and that's something uh, where Rhino is quite good because then you think, okay, if I put a glass in, uh, what shape does the glass have and how does it lie on this one here? How one Want, do I want it secured and how do I want it secured? How does it look visually? Will this look okay? All these sort of things, yeah? Right. Um, okay, perhaps I'm just gonna put a quick tabletop here. And then we have 16. Um, when we move this, we go to where's our box edit here? Uh, that's the 450, so it must be 460. There we go. Yeah. Gonna make a quick screenshot. I will upload that on Miro and um, yeah, and we can go from there. Okay, and that's all from me. I uh, want your work up for Friday, yeah? Don't forget that.